Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is about how we can learn a little bit of something from the baseball swing. Might sound a little bit of kind of a strange thing to say, but if we actually look at the sequence of what a baseball player does through impact, it's very similar to a golfer, apart from the fact a golfer's down at the ground and a baseball player's up here. Now, why would I say that and why are we trying to emulate that a little bit? Well, if we look at somebody who's receiving a baseball pitch, they take the club back, their hips go first, hips open up to target, club heads behind their hands, we're through into the golf ball. Very athletic, hips the target, through to a balanced finish. So a lot of people, and if you look at all the top players on the European Tour and the PJ Tour, they get to impact, they're very much this way. We get the top baseball players, very much this way. Hip sequence and the sequence in the downswing is very, very similar. So how can we apply this to our golf game? I want you to take a few swings up here, back, hips the target, through hips the target, really getting the feeling of our downswing starting in a sequence from the ground up. So I'm really trying to feel the lower half goes, upper half goes, and then the hands follow. Rather than a lot of people, and if you're watching this and you're somebody that works the club this way, you're predominantly gonna start with the upper half first. So try to use that analogy of the baseball swing is a really good place to be. Even if you were to do that one-handed, Okay, let's hit this one away. We're really trying to feel that I got the baseball move. So I'm going to do a few practice swings. One. Two. Right, let's hit this one away. So I'm trying to feel I start from the ground up in transition. Baseball analogy. So my feeling there was start from the ground up. Now, that might feel a little bit strange to begin with because it's an over-exaggerated move and because it feels like a totally different sequence to what you've got, but I really want you to stick with it. So let's now try it with the driver. This, in theory, should be a little bit easier for you to get hang of. So this, in theory, should be a little bit easier for you to get the hang of because the ball's now a little bit higher. And going back to what we see on the European Tour, on the PJ Tour, all the top guys who create a lot of distance and have a very stable club face to impact, their release is controlled through the body rather than arms and hands working independent. So again, we're gonna have a few swings up into the air, baseball style, one, two, straight in, my feeling here, a sequence starts on the ground up, very, very similar to a baseball player. And the best thing about that is, a lot of people feel like when they make a swing, sometimes it feels too quick and unbalanced. If now we create a move from the ground up, we're actually going to create some club head speed easier. So there's added benefits to our golf game with using this analogy. So there you have it, the baseball analogy for your golf swing. Remember, baseball players are starting from the ground up. They're seeing the pitch, they're reacting to the pitch, they're in and they're hitting it away. We want to apply that same thing to the golf ball, but remember, we're down at the ground now, we're up, react to the golf ball, react to the picture, and start seeing your downswing sequence better. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you've not already, smash that subscribe button.